hello everyone and welcome to the tutorial series i've been doing this is the third video i have put down links to all the videos down in the description below so today i'm about to show you how you can make your fake plastic gun look real like a real gun by adding muzzle flash and you can say gun effects let's see the video but first read this disclaimer I'm not saying that I know everything about filmmaking on the effects. I'm just as So this is a really easy effect. I will rate this 2 out of 5 stars because it's a little bit difficult than the previous one which the link is here. So let's just jump into After Effects and make this video. So first open your project in After Effects and scroll down to the point where the effect will happen, where the gunshot will happen and then duplicate the footage and make it just one frame and this will be for the muzzle flash and i will again duplicate it and this will be for the recoil so now i will add a muzzle flash and scaled it and rotated it so that it fits the composition like that and make it add or you can also make it screen both will work and now i'll add vc color vibrance it's a free plugin by video copilot and just play with the settings i'll make it a bit yellow uh, light yellow I'm just playing with the settings here now I'll keyframe the position of the muzzle flash and because the shot is moving I have to change the position of the muzzle flash too so like that you can see I'm creating keyframes and moving it so it's not the shot is not moving that much so we don't have to track it that much otherwise you may have to use motion tracker so now i am duplicating it twice and cutting the first frame from it because i want the smoke to be denser now in the footage layer which was one frame i will add the recoil so i will mask the lower part of the gun and extend it go to mask and then extend it a bit like that so that it looks like when the shot was fired the gun had to recoil and now i'll add a directional blur to it and move it to the direction of the gun and blur it just a little bit and that's it and now in the first duplicated layer which we duplicated earlier we will add a glow effect so that when the muzzle flash was fired the light from it will reflect on our shirt body and face so i will add one mask to my body and add one mask to my face and add one mask to my hands and this is only for my body For the environment I will add a mask in the wall a big mask like that and now I will add tint to it map the black to dark yellow and map the white to a bit light yellow feather all the mask a lot and feather the mask at the wall the most you can see the values on my screen and now we'll add a glow effect to it I'll change the amount to 50 
and change the size to 0 0.04 you can play with the settings and see whatever suits you and I will change the color to bit yellowish that's it and now I'll turn the opacity down and bring the recoil below because the recoil also should have the glow and now it's time to add a bullet case so I'll search for that I'll scale it and position it Now the bullet should leave the scene in 1 to 2 frames because that's how fast bullet should travel. So I'll place the bullet like it's ejecting from the gun and keyframe the position. I'll skip one frame and make a parabola because that's how things work in the universe so as you can see I'm making a parabola you can see the bullet is only staying for 3 frames so I will turn on motion blur so that it doesn't look chunky and that's it so this is it guys and here's how the final video will look after some grading so I have added some camera shake to make it more interesting I have a video on it uh, how to add camera shake here's the link or maybe down here it's in Premiere Pro but in After Effects is the same process thanks for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it and sub if you loved it and I'll see you. Bye.